Website designers use personas to help them imagine the audience that their website might serve. Typically, personas are based on research that you've conducted through surveys, focus groups, observations, and other methods. Once you've conducted that research, you summarize it by portraying the beliefs, behaviors, and habits of the people that you have been talking to or observing through the depiction of a single person. This single person description will make it easier for you as the designer to imagine who you're designing for and to communicate that imagined audience to your colleagues. In a typical design project, you would likely articulate multiple personas, each depicting a different set of audience goals and needs that you learned about through your research. You would then create a different one-page document for each of those personas. A persona would likely list demographic characteristics like age, education, occupational status. It also lists goals, interests, questions, frustrations, behaviors, and you'll often see a stock photo included with the persona to make the entire imagined person that is representing a group of people just more real to both yourself and to your colleagues. Remember, the entire idea of a persona is to have a clearer vision of who you're designing your website for, and it helps you clarify what your website needs to have so that you appeal to that desired audience.